There's no argument that women's muscles are somewhat different than a man's. But how different are they, and should you train them differently? Well, let's get into a little bit of the anatomy, and then I'll break it down for you of how you should exactly train for maximum results. And finally, which exercises are the best to do in the comfort of your own home? Just to start off, more than 3,000 genes are known to be differentially expressed between male and female skeletal muscle. One big difference is that women's muscles are more fatigue resistant. Uh, they have more type one fibers and they have better recovery rates because they're highly concentrated myoglobin. All of these big differences should be taken in consideration with your training plan, such as being able to work out more full body routines and not going quite as heavy as a guy. Now, I do want to say that most women are scared of lifting weights and that should not be the case at all. Weight training is one of the best things and most important things that women can do, but you need to do it the right way and taking many factors in consideration. When doing this arm workout, you need to choose dumbbells that will fatigue you around 20 to 25 reps. If you get much more than that, then your muscles will not be doing anything but densing up the mitochondria, which will cause more metabolic efficiency and not do a whole lot for the toning that you had hoped for. There are five exercises that I wanna show you using my lovely helper, Bethany. And if you haven't already, go follow her, Bethany Leo, on YouTube and see all the incredible workout videos that her and I have put together at no cost at all. And if you want an actual six week program, a home program that is, that includes everything for full body transformation, get our LeoSculpt program at leosculpt.com. It's an incredible program. The first exercise I wanna show you here is a full shoulder workout, keeping a lot of isometric tension on the deltoids at all times. And this exercise is important because in order to activate all three parts of the deltoid, you must abduct the arm past 15 degrees. The deltoids are also great to work because they're a very superficial muscle and it's very easily to be seen when developed properly, giving you a toned and cut look like your favorite actresses. So start with your palms in facing towards your hips and slowly abduct them to your side, getting your arms parallel to the ground. Next, bring the dumbbells together in front of your chest and then lift both arms straight up above the head while keeping the dumbbells pressed together. Reverse this process and repeat for about 15 to 20 reps. If you feel an impingement of any kind in your shoulder, then rotate your thumbs up and it should open up the space within the acromion process relieving some of that pain. The next exercise is great for working both short and long heads of the bicep, as well as the teres muscles below the backside of your rear shoulders and the supraspinatus. I know you might not know much about these muscles, but I promise they are important because they will be most seen when you wear your next tank top, so don't miss this exercise. Start by gripping the dumbbells with palms facing forward and slowly curl up to the halfway point. Then slowly externally rotate your hands away from each other, keeping your elbows tight by your side. Return them together again and then do your final top portion of the curl and then repeat the entire process. This exercise takes into consideration that the bicep is a biarticular muscle that spans two different joints. So all of these movements will help with maximum efficiency. All right, the next exercise is going to be mainly activating the pectoralis minor, the anterior delt and the triceps. Perform this exercise on a bench, a couch, or a floor. Um, they're all fine to do, but make sure that you can properly position your shoulder blades while doing the exercise. The more movement of the shoulder blades, the better. So start by laying on your back, supine position, with the dumbbells extended directly above your shoulders. With your elbows slightly bent, take your arms out by your side, bringing your shoulder blades together at that same time. Slowly bring your arms back into the starting position and then bend the elbows, allowing the top of the dumbbell to touch the top of the shoulders. Try doing this while keeping your elbows pointed straight up and your shoulder blades are separated out. The next exercise is going to work the front and lateral delts, some biceps and some traps. Starting with the dumbbells together, keeping a loose grip with just your fingers, start raising your elbows as high as you can get them, keeping the dumbbells close to your body, really tight to the body. Once you get your elbows as high as you can, bring them back down and then laterally raise them to the side about 30 degrees. Now remember to keep very controlled movements while doing this. The last exercise 
is another bicep and shoulder combination to get again a greater response by working this biarticular muscle. Start with your arms extended and gripping your dumbbells with the palms forward facing or supinated. Curl the dumbbells up into a full contraction and then push your elbows forward and up so that the dumbbell handles are in line with your eyes. Next, separate your arms and rotate the dumbbells 180 degrees as you press up towards the ceiling. Reverse it all and then repeat. I hope these exercises help your arms look the best that they ever had before. And my goal is to not just put you through these incredible workouts, but to teach you the science behind why I create them in the first place. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and share my channel with others. We'll see you next time.